What's going on, everybody? My name is Christian. And I'm Jesse. And today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to book our Fantasy World WrestleMania. Is this 39? Uh, yeah. Okay, our WrestleMania. They don't do numbers anymore, do they? Um, I feel like sometimes they, they do, sometimes they don't. They yeah, pick and I choose. think this year <laughs> they haven't. I think they've just been going by WrestleMania in Hollywood. Yeah, so this is our WrestleMania Hollywood, how we would book it. Obviously, it's, you know, our Some of it's already pre built up. It, yeah. Of course. So some of these matches are pretty much obvious that they're going to happen because mm. they've been booking it for X amount of months. So some of it might not be new, but we also do have some intriguing, new, interesting ideas. So, Jess, I will let you lead the way. A lot of this was your doing, and then I kind of helped you cultivate it. So let's talk about it. We're going to talk about some of the matches. We'll talk about maybe some victors or in general, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on who do you think should win some of these matches, Mm. but to kick off WrestleMania Hollywood, Jesse, how are you doing this? Yeah. First of all, I want to say uh, we're going to keep the two night concept um, because I think it'll be absolutely horrible to put people through 13 matches or 14 matches in a row. We've been to mania before and to sit through that many it's tough. I yeah, think bringing it up night one, night two is absolutely the way to go. And you could sell more tickets, so why yep. would you not? That's true. And they already sold out, too. They're in Hollywood. Um, WrestleMania 39. If I if I had to start it off, there are rumors that this is going to happen in real life as well. And if I'm Triple H and if I was Triple H booking this, you got to start it off with a Money in the Bank ladder match. With a bang. Like how it always bank. used to happen, how we honestly used to do, how we still do it in universe mode, but not obviously for the Money in the Bank. We would do the Internet Championship. But um, yeah, kick it off with a Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, now you're doing men's or women's first? We're, we'll start off with the men's okay. for sure. Uh, if I had to put in some contestants, we're going to do eight contestants. Um, I put Solo Sokola on there, Seth Rollins, Austin Theory, Bobby Lashley, Gargano, who apparently is fine now. Apparently he had an injury recently, but it wasn't too anything too serious. Um, Ricochet and uh, Karen Cross and Tommaso Ciampa. Okay, I like it, Jess. Uh, we've talked about this in depth, and honestly, you can sub in whoever you want to sub in. If mm-hmm. you think somebody else is more deserving, sub them in. I mean, we kind of just want to make sure everybody got some love, everybody got some shine. We will cover who do we have missing from this pay-per-view because not everybody's going to make the cut. Yeah, but it like happens you, over here. I think Money in the Bank, reason one, number one is a good thing to, to utilize because that's how everybody can get some screen time. Mm-hmm. Anybody can get a WrestleMania moment. Usually in Money in the Bank matches, everybody has a moment to begin with. Mm-hmm. So a guy like Austin Theory who... Me personally, I don't think I'm intrigued in an Austin Theory match, like solo match at Mania. Yeah. I think I would rather skip out on that. But I think he can maybe get more shine in a Money in the Bank match. So I love it. I am here for it. But my question is, who would you have winning? I, we, we've talked about this. I know who we're going to say, but I also yeah. want to bring up another possibility. So I love the I love the possibility of Karrion Cross winning because I'm a big Karrion Cross guy. Um, I'm a big fan of Solo winning because I think that's, that's he, nice. I think he really can be pushed to the moon, especially if the bloodline breaks up. And uh, even if they retain, just yeah. the prospect that I have a briefcase that I can use on you guys, mm-hmm. it, it can, it can add a, a nice, interesting factor into the faction. I like mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have Theory winning. Uh, Carrying Cross, I would love to see Solo. Gargano would be really cool to see with the money in the bank. Honestly, anybody. Ricky, Tommaso. Yeah. But if, if I had to book a specific winner, i, I got to go Seth. We'll get more into that later. So let's let's stop that there, Jesse. I like the logic. I like where we're taking it. Uh, what do you guys think? Is that a cool way to kick it off? Spoiler alert, night two, you're going to see something a little similar. But we also got some tag team action, mm-hmm. obviously. Um, SmackDown tag team titles. What we got is New Day. Versus Legado del Fantasma versus Imperium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all um, I'm, I'm here for it, man. tag teams. Uh, I know the New Day has the NXT um, tag team titles. I think they don't have those by the time WrestleMania rolls around. I think they, you know, give up those titles to a team on NXT and put them over. Um, but uh, New Day, Legado del Fantasma, and Imperium, all those respective teams are on SmackDown. And I just think in a triple threat, uh, tag team match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. I think that's a great tag team match. Um, I definitely wouldn't put New Day over. I, I kind of want to see something like new happen. I, I, I would agree. Uh, I would definitely put the titles on Imperium. 
Yeah, so I think I think you have some interesting things here just in the sense of one, every team can come out with actually three members instead oh. of two. So again, everybody can get some shine. Like Santos wouldn't probably be on our card otherwise, unfortunately, the way we got it slated, but he can have a appearance, a moment, you know, yeah. a, moment a manager moment, something um, which can definitely just be beneficial for him. And as far as winning goes, I agree. I probably would rather, you know, see Legado or Imperium. Mm-hmm. Um, I would love if Imperium would win and then they can have the belts along Wood Walter. Mm. And I would love to see that, especially yeah, we never yeah. really seen an Imperium Bloodline no. feud at all. Yeah. So like, yeah. I think that would be a cool counter if Usos had the belt, Imperium had the belt, Roman had the belt, Walter had the like the just the mm-hmm. stare down, the championships. I agree. Um, what they can then do with it. And, you know, a new face. And Imperium getting a rub would, would definitely be awesome. We are in WrestleMania Hollywood. Um, I know a lot of people uh, think Logan Paul is maybe the guy to not be at WrestleMania because he did uh, have a big knee injury against Roman Reigns. But apparently his injury isn't as serious as everyone thought. Uh, he will be back in time for WrestleMania. But in our eyes, I think Logan Paul should team up with his brother, Jake, if Jake Paul isn't too busy. I know he's fighting Tommy Fury next uh, month, mm-hmm. but um, he'll probably have some time off uh, in April along with Logan Paul if he is healthy. And I would love to see the Paul brothers go against Judgment Day. Yeah, and I think this one, I want to see Logan Paul actually wrestle again, which isn't, yeah. isn't words that I ever thought would come out of my mouth, truthfully. especially I'm like right there with you. I didn't think the addition of Jake Paul would be any type of intriguing to me. But if he has any bit of wrestling ring potential that his brother has, obviously Jake Paul, for what it's worth, I know he's fighting some scrubs in, in, in boxing for the most part. Uh, well, he did, you know, he did yeah, he put Tyron out. Yeah, he knocked out Tyron. Uh, so, you know, he knocked like, down if, if, if he can bring any of that confidence and any of that skill transferring over inside, you know, a wrestling ring. And he doesn't even need to have really much spots. Like, that's what Logan's for. And that's 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 also know, where that's the tag Judgment team. That's what for. Yeah, that's well. where the tag team aspects comes in. I just don't want to, I really, I would not want to see Logan Paul versus John Cena. Not yeah. not at a mania. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think John I, Cena deserves a way worthy more opponent, which we have, which we'll discuss mm-hmm. later. Yes, for, for a sure. fact. Uh, and and we have, you know, uh, standing across side of the ring for them, Finn Balor, who can probably wrestle yep. with a potato, and then Damian Priest. Who, or, or Dominic Mysterio, depending on what we Well, we, we want. got something else for Dom a little later. True. Um, and then Damian, and Damian Priest, who is uh, one, one of the better wrestlers. And not only that, he's, one of the he's, best had, NXT call-ups. he's had Hollywood spots before. He had this, this, with this spots with Bad Bunny mm-hmm. and what yeah. have you. So I think this could work perfectly. And if the Paul brothers lose, okay, they so, lose. Uh, yeah. And if Judgment Day wins, you know, they get a big win. I granted it's celebrities, but, you know, emphasis on the heelness of them. At the end of the day, this match is, should be in there for just a fun purpose. Yeah. And the celebrity matches can be fun. And I think what... Both of the Paul brothers, you can definitely make it that. Yeah, we've, we've seen, obviously, Logan Paul have celebrity matches. They were fun. Him versus Roman. Uh, him versus Miz. Surprisingly, versus, uh, really, Summer really Slam. good. Yeah. Uh, we've seen Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, Big Show. We've seen Bad Bunny in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I would definitely give Judgment Day the victory. Uh, I'm not having Finn Balor and Damian Priest lose to the Paul brothers. Uh, yeah, they agree. can make it a good tag team match because, obviously, Logan Paul proves has proved himself over the almost year he's been with the, the, the company that he can't wrestle in the main event. Um, so why not have his brother there? It's Hollywood. You know how you have your celebrity match and Judgment Day gets put over because I just don't think the Paul brothers deserve to beat a guy like Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Speaking of Judgment Day, Jesse, let's get into this next match as well. Uh, we will have the Raw Women's Championship on the line mm-hmm. and it will be Bianca Belair, currently champion, mm-hmm. against who... We would have as the women's Royal Rumble winner. Rhea Ripley. Let's talk about it. Um, the the thing I would do for uh, Royal Rumble, we'll speak about this briefly too, uh, with it being uh, this Saturday, I would have the Royal, women's Royal Rumble honestly start off the pay per view. I would have Rhea Ripley, you know, get uh, I want to say at least seven or eight eliminations. Dominant. I know we, they have booked, they have booked her to. Compete with the men at yeah. this point. Her presence alone, you know, looks strong. She's a badass. She's ever she's been a badass ever since she was in NXT UK. Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley, they have that history, obviously all the way back into NXT. They've had mm-hmm. matches at Takeover. 
And they haven't had the uh, the big one-on-one match at a big pay-per-view. And I think Rhea Ripley versus Bianca or WrestleMania is perfect. And I would definitely put Rhea over. I agree. I'm so. honestly in love with the Rhea Ripley character as of right now. Mm-hmm. I just think she's awesome. And I think you should... I love count. Bianca, too. It's just... I uh, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she... You know, she had her, her run. I, so shit. my thing also is For now. I think you should capitalize off of that awesomeness. And then also, you can insert a championship into that Judgment Day faction. Bianca and Rhea, they were the last two members of Royal Rumble. Was it last year or the year before? Uh, 2021, okay. I think. So uh, Yeah, well, one, one, of the, one of the last few Rumbles, they were the last two matchups. So it's kind of like everything coming full circle. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, I'm absolutely on board. The match that uh, I said we wanted to save just for a little later, Jesse, and it's mm-hmm. our John Cena idea. And... I, I don't want him with Logan Paul. I don't want him with Austin Theory. Nope. Um, it's gonna. Ha- that's what Triple H is gonna do, which is fine, I guess. Like you, you give, you give Austin Theory the big win, or like if they do John Cena versus Logan Paul in real life, do they have Logan Paul beat Cena? That was my question when so. we covered this on our universe mode. But I don't think I, so. Yeah, but I, who knows? For us at our WrestleMania uh, Hollywood Thirty Nine, whatever you want to call it. Uh, John Cena goes against Edge and Randy Orton. If, you know, obviously if healthy he's back. and able. If, if. Um, big if. Big so if. the big thing with this is this is supposedly Edge's last mania. It is said that he's probably going to retire at SummerSlam. At SummerSlam which, which is in Toronto. Which it just makes all sense for him. He wanted to end his career in Toronto. So perfect. And look, he, he already had his WrestleMania write off. He already had that mm-hmm. moment. This is, this is, yes, his last mania, but it doesn't have to feel like a retirement mania. <laughs> um, so, Cena versus Edge, one of the most historic rivalries Top three. In, in Cena's career, in Edge's career. Cena is a poster boy for the upcoming game. Reliving this, putting it on a mania card, and, and then possibly throwing in a little twist <laughs> with Randy Orton, and now you have... Three of for three of a generation's like I'm not gonna say idols or superheroes because we hated Edge and Randy Orton for half yeah. of that. Yeah. But three of a generation's biggest superstars and putting them all together in a WrestleMania match. And they they never had one on one WrestleMania matches against each other. We've seen uh, Randy Orton versus Edge, of course, recently in the uh, I believe it was the pandemic WrestleMania when there was no fans involved. Um, could do the uh, obviously COVID, mm-hmm. but we've never seen Cena versus Edge at WrestleMania. We've never seen Cena versus Randy at WrestleMania. We've seen them at like SummerSlam and you know TLC Rumble and like the big like those big pay per views, but never at the the grandest stage of all. And, you know WrestleMania. And that would be a crazy triple threat, and it really doesn't matter who wins this match. No, in no, reality, no. if Randy wins, awesome, he comes back, and you know what a way to kick it off. Yeah. If Cena wins, okay, he still got some fight in him. I probably wouldn't give the rub to Cena, but you know you never doubt him. Yeah. Um, and then if Edge wins, you know he wins his last Mania, so mm-hmm. it's really no yeah, no think, lose lose at all. I think all the stories would connect well. Obviously, them all being. Uh, They've known each other for over 20 years, uh, them being rivals, the, the whole, pretty much the length of their career. And the the story being told with Randy coming back, potentially winning that match uh, from his injury, Edge being his last WrestleMania, and, and Cena, he's, a, he's in Hollywood. Uh, I would definitely not give the win to Cena. I would definitely agree. I would probably give it, I'd probably give it to Edge. No, I, I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, Jesse, and then the main event of night number one. I mean, again, this is fantasy booking because I'm sure WWE would love to do this match. Will they? Who knows? Maybe we find out real soon at Rumble. But we have Roman defending the Universal title against... Uh, I think everyone wants it. Uh, the People's Champ, Rock. Yeah, I, I mean, the story can easily, easily write itself. Yeah, they can um, they can book this so many really however there. they want. It's just the one thing I hope the one thing I hope I do not see come Saturday is the Rock come out during the Rumble and win at number thirty and win. Yeah, uh, I think that would be the absolute he, incorrect way to win. Uh, so book. He is the Rock. Cut a promo. 
Cut, do something work. Dis- do something creative. Dis- disagree with a Roman decision. Yeah. Um, do something plan- out of the blue. Do something completely different than The Rock winning uh, the Royal Rumble. He at, Once upon a time, The Rock was the head of the table. Reports right now that he doesn't feel like he can get himself into conditioning and time. Oh, first of all, okay. <laughs> like the reports. I'm not I, buying it. I'm sniffing bullshit. He, yeah, I'm he's in. Bullshit. He's in excellent shape. <laughs> the shape there, should never I know, I, know, I know there's a difference in ring shape. I will say that because we've seen it with Undertaker and people in the past, like Kurt Angle you, coming back. Listen, but bro, he is. Yeah, a, he's on, he's just he's chiseled. He's perfection. He could wrestle a twenty to thirty minute match. Probably in a month. Not to I'm mention, not buying Not it. to mention, I, I'm not going to say wrestling a match with Roman Reigns is easy because I'm sure it, it takes a toll on the body mm-hmm. as well. For sure, yeah. But Roman is more than capable of carrying a match. Like, nobody is expecting a, yeah. a wrestling match. Classic, piece, like Shawn right? Michaels versus Kurt. When, when, yeah. when we say rock and Roman, but what we can get with story, what we can get with their heritage, their bloodline. But this, to me, is a no-brainer. And for The Rock, personally, if you're not going to wrestle now, I I very much feel like it's a now or never situation. Mm-hmm. You're only getting older. It's like 51. You're only I getting guess. more booked for Hollywood. I, I I know a few studios might might be tired of you, but for the most part, you still have a very much so successful career in Hollywood that is going to probably keep you busy around April. It's, um, yeah, it's going to continue. So he's, if, he's about 51 years old. If you have free time come now, back. come back, get one match, one night, collect the bag, and I'm going to be real with you, Jesse. Winning is Roman, Roman Reigns. Yeah. Take keep, the rub. There's no reason Rock should win. No, keep his lengthy universal title reign, which is almost at 900 days. Uh, come WrestleMania, it'll be over like 900 and probably 60, oh, maybe close, close to, to 1,000. Which is crazy. Which, yeah, which is crazy, which I think they will do. Uh, they will have Roman Reigns have a title reign over 1,000 days for that universal title, which is insane to say. Uh, but yeah, Roman wins for sure. Let's let's quickly try to cover some of these other ones. We got night number two, a woman's money in the bank, and you, literally you can insert any of your eight women. I honestly, just as we were constructing this, I wouldn't even mind the idea of introducing ten superstars to a money in the bank match. It might be a little too much. Yeah, it might be a little bit too much. It in might the be a little too much. Yeah. But I think the WWE, if anything, can make it happen. But let's keep it safe at eight. Insert whoever eight you want. We got you know Liv, Shayna, Raquel, Shotzi, Candice. Asuka, Bailey, Charlotte. I mean, literally whoever you want. That's eight right there. That's a star-studded money in the bank ladder. And that's the way to kick it off. You know, just kick it off with a fun, crazy ladder match with all the spots that people are paying to see. And then for the winner, I mean, who should win the women's money in the bank? Um, I got two. You could you could take it anywhere. I, I personally... I'll, I'll go with this one because we've seen the other one win. Uh, I'm going to go with Raquel. I'll go with Shayna Baszler, in all okay. honesty. Yeah. Um, and, and I don't know, maybe Shayna Baszler isn't the most attractive name to you know win the first match of a WrestleMania card, but I really like Shayna Baszler. I feel like she hasn't got her due diligence on the main roster, nope. and she can be deadly with the threat of, I can have a championship at any opportunity, including during a match, after a match, um, wherever, whenever. Um, so I would like to probably give it to somebody new. We've seen Bailey yeah. with it. We've seen Charlotte, I'm sure, winning Money in the Bank, right? Who? Charlotte. Um, God, she doesn't need another achievement. She's okay. Um, I don't think she's ever won. I don't think she's won either, yeah. but let's not say that out loud. They yeah. might hear us. Because she's already hit 14 times. <laughs> yeah, no, don't say, it. don't say it out loud. They might hear us. Oh, and which also, we do have Charlotte losing the title. We'll talk about that a little later, mm-hmm. Jess. But ha- what do we have for the IC Championship at Mania? Um, the IC Championship, uh, we have Walter. He will be our IC Champion walking into our WrestleMania. Uh, I think he deserves it. He's, you know, shredded a lot of weight. He looks great. Um, got the DX spot too. I like yeah, that. I liked that as well. Him versus Kurt Angle. Oh, I don't get me started. That. <laughs> what I would do to see a 2006 Kurt Angle versus Walter match and uh, Universal mode would be great. Let alone real life. We gotta make it happen, then, Justin. Um, but uh, Walter obviously comes down to the ring with Imperium, who won the previous night. Walter is gonna go against a former WWE champion. He's gonna go against Drew McIntyre. Yeah. I really, really like this matchup. I feel like these two people can have a very hard-hitting match Mm -hmm. um, and a fun match. And a one match that, honestly, you for most of it, you wouldn't really know who's going to win. I can see Drew walking out with this. I can see Walter walking out with it. I I don't mind either direction, but honestly, I want Walter to win. Yeah. I'm a fan of Walter. I'm sorry, Gunther. My apologies. I'm calling him Walter. Yeah, sorry. Uh, 
I would not hate seeing Drew with the title because truthfully, I feel like Drew got robbed of that big moment of winning the big title against Brock Lesnar uh, during COVID. And he never got that, you know, that big championship win in front of a crowd. Um, but truth be told, I would rather Drew McIntyre eventually in the future get that big win for the WWE or Universal Championship in the future. Um, I wouldn't do it at this WrestleMania. I would definitely have Gunther uh, definitely beat Drew McIntyre. Yeah, I, I, I'm in agreement, Shusty. I am in agreement. <clears throat> and this next match, I mean, it was it was a non-disputable. This was obviously going on our mania. And I think both of us thought the same direction as mm -hmm. well. Now, if WWE takes it this far, I don't know, but I think they should. Yeah. And that and is, I'll get into depth of what I would yeah, do. Yeah, absolutely. Well. I, I will as well. Rey Mysterio Versus taking on his son? Dom Mysterio. And uh, are we in agreement of the ladder? Stipulation? Okay. I, so I would probably go ladder match, and now you're saying, well, what are they fighting for if there's a ladder? I think that, you know, we had, you know, a ladder match once upon a time with Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero to fight for the custody of mm -hmm. Dominic Mysterio. So I think it'll be full circle if Rey and Dom fight. For Rey's career. Rey's career, his contract. And if Rey loses, he has to retire. Mm -hmm. You can also, in theory, probably turn this into an I quit match. I just personally don't want to hear Ray say I quit, and then that's how he ends his career. Like, yeah. I, I, and granted, you know, this is this is wrestling, so you can bring back Ray, you know, six months mm -hmm. in you know, kayfabe, yeah. you know, whatever. I'll definitely get into quick depth of what I would do. I would do the same exact thing. I would do Ray versus Dom, obviously for the career of Ray Mysterio. Dom wins for sure. He has. He gets major heat. You have Judgment Day win. At WrestleMania, you have Rhea as the champion, you have Dom win. He just retired his father, and Judgment Day just beat the Paul brothers. I think Judgment Day, out of literally everyone Everybody, at I mean, WrestleMania, they, not the strongest, yeah, right? they, they look I the strongest. Oh, cool. uh, maybe we see Judgment Day in the future become the champions. Uh, Rhea Ripley defends that title for a while, and most importantly, Dom just retired his father. Get all the heat you can. Like, I want Dom to be hated at this point because you just took down a, a legend in mm -hmm. Rey Mysterio. And me personally, I would definitely have major, major callbacks to the original custody match yep. with Eddie Guerrero. And whether <clears throat> it's, you know, I, before we saw, I believe it was Vicky and even Dom interfering to the match. Yeah. Maybe you can have some type of I would family have, member. I would, I would have Ray's series. daughter or the her, mother. Her daughter and mother. I, I don't know if yeah. they got, you know, a son, a nephew, someone, someone else uh, of a younger age. But somebody within the family that, like, you can make it known over the production. Oh, my God, that's so-and-so. And, like, you know, maybe they're yeah, holding cool. Dom's foot back, you know. And that'd ultimately, cool. though, Dom prevails and retires his own father in just a disgusting way, disgusting mm -hmm. feeling to the And at WrestleMania, too, like, that's that's a big match for Dom. Uh, you know, I think that's a great way for Ray to go out. And I think that's what they're going to build toward. I don't know about that stipulation of Ray retiring um, and stuff like that, but I think Triple H is going to do Dom versus Ray at WrestleMania. I just, it's I mean, been there, going there, on there, for a while. There could build. be conflicts just because, like, that's another ladder match that makes three ladder matches on the True. show. But True. It's, who cares? Who cares? Um, but like, yeah, I, de I, Dom I, definitely wins. I want, this match is going to happen. I love happen. Ray. I can't wait to see it. I love Ray, but if you want the real heat, and Dom being a heel, I, I think you have Dom beat, right? I agree. Yeah. I agree. Sure. And um, for the SmackDown Women's Championship, we're going to do some retconning a little bit. We know Charlotte won for the 27th time in the last three weeks, but... And we know Ronda is boring <laughs> now. We're aware of that. You know. Um, but we're going to you know, retcon a little, keep Ronda with the championship, and uh, maybe even do some more retconning. We're going to make a dream match happen the way it probably should have happened the first when, time. When we went to WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, it probably should have happened the first time. And that is Ronda Rousey versus... Uh, the man, Becky Lynch. Yeah, man. I the think story's I already there. Obviously, you just got to build upon what you built upon before. Of course, and, and and I think you can frame it in a sense. And again, this is retconning because now Ronda has the title, and Ronda can just hey, I beat everybody. And then Becky is somebody who's looking for a a, a, a spot a at match. media. Yeah. And and obviously we can put her in a Money in the Bank, but nah, screw that. She's already won Money in the Bank. I'm pretty sure too, right? Mm, no, actually, yeah. no. So no. whatever. I mean, you could put her in a Money in the Bank, but no, give her the match. Who cares about the brands? It doesn't make sense to begin with anymore. Who cares about the brands? Have Becky call in for a favor. Whatever it might be. Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey. Give us the match. Give us the battle of the arm bars that we never mm -hmm. really got to see. 
and give Becky the win. Yeah, I would definitely have Becky beat Ronda. Um, I love Ronda when she debuted. I loved her reign back in 2019 as well. Ever since she came back a year ago um, at Royal Rumble, I haven't enjoyed her second run in WWE. I feel like she's really boring. Uh, just She's just not the same. I, I feel like her being a mother now is her number one priority. I, uh, also, and the, the, I just, shiny, the shiny new toy feeling, the yeah, mystique, the, you know. The, it's not there. It's not there. Anymore. Yeah, I love Ronda Rousey. Obviously, she's a legend in MMA. You have a shirt on right now? Or yeah, okay. yeah, Nate Diaz. Um, I got my bloodline shirt underneath this as well. Oh, look at you, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, wrestling and, and the whole nine yards. But uh, yeah, I would definitely have Becky Lynch, the man, beat Ronda Rousey, as she should have uh, at WrestleMania. I think it was 35 in 2019 that I, MetLife I, Stadium. I can't, I can't count that high. And uh, just, you know, give Becky that moment where she should have beaten Ronda Rousey and became that big megastar back then. But, you know, make it right now. You, you have Becky Lynch beat Ronda Rousey one-on-one, -on -one, no Charlotte Flair, just for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And I feel like a lot more people would have Becky Lynch rather be their champion than Ronda. Absolutely. Especially right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, this next one is one that I definitely don't think will happen, especially with like the little twist that they gave us in the Raw 30th anniversary. Mm -hmm. But um, it's going to be Brock Lesnar getting a match. Against? Uh, against Bray Wyatt. I I think this is a dream match. Obviously, we're going to be seeing Bobby Lashley versus uh, Brock Lesnar. It's going to be hell. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to call that now. Some it's going to be Brock, cage. It's gonna be Brock cage versus Lashley, hell in the cell match. And, and I mean. get it. And I get the marquee of that. You got the two MMA fighters, but... I don't know. Maybe I just don't really care for that match anymore. Like I, I thought. I think the, the second Oscar match was mid. The first match was it got highlighted because Roman screwed Brock. I don't remember if you remember I that just, last year at Rumble. I, I I'm sure like I've seen it, but like yeah, I don't really have a recollection of it. And I don't know. It's just a it's just a match I don't want to see. Mm -hmm. I'd much rather see. I don't know what the plan would be for Bray Wyatt now. Kirk. Yeah, same. You know, I don't know what they do for Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania in I real think, life. I think if they don't already at Rumble introduce the whole like Bray Wyatt family, the Uncle Howdy, the whoever else might be hiding behind the scenes, I think you make that super special and you make that happen at Mania. Mm -hmm. And even if you want to go ahead and make this match, I don't care, Extreme Rules match, maybe you give Brock the match that he probably should have had with Dean Ambrose way back when, and they never really took it to the level they could have took it. Maybe you get that with a twisted Bray Wyatt introducing all of his you know wacky characters of his mm -hmm. universe the into... The Fiend, the, really whoever. They could it, do so many cool things. It, it can match. be whatever, but also what I want to emphasize, at least on my mania, is The Fiend went... Yeah, yeah. Give him a dub. Yeah, give Brock, him a mania moment. Give him a mania win and yeah, have Brock him look strong. Brock does not win that match. I have Bray Wyatt definitely be a guy like Brock Lesnar. Uh, I believe Brock Lesnar is around the same age as Cena. I want to say Brock Lesnar is about forty two or forty three. Uh, there's no reason for Brock Lesnar to win that match at WrestleMania, or really. I don't even think he should win. Say he goes against Bobby Lashley in real life. I think Lashley should get that victory in real life. Why? Why do you have Brock Lesnar win again is by all means. I think the only reason you would have him win again is so he can have a United States Championship title run. See, then they would just be copying me. Listen, man. So, I'm going to make the rules. I'll just play the game. Yeah. I, I just I, I would love to see Lashley win that in real but life. But what do you love in real life to see Brock Lesnar's United States Championship run? Yeah. That would be pretty cool. But, I, I mean, yeah, it would be great to see it in – you know, person. Yeah, for those who've never but, seen our universe mode, we have a universe mode, and Brock Lesnar has just been absolutely indestructible mm -hmm. in his championship. We won't dive too deep into it, but yeah, yeah I mean, I just I could see that happening. It's kind of a shame. Like, I don't know what Bray does after Royal Rumble because he's obviously feuding with LA Knight. Uh, but yeah, I would do Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar. Uh, and definitely Bray Wyatt get put over for and sure. And maybe that's what Undertaker whispered in Jerry's ear. Give, give me my lick back from, from, mm. from my loss. Yeah. Who knows, man? Who knows? But, um, and I don't know. This isn't really match order or anything like that. And realistically, you can swap match night, night one, night two. It really doesn't matter. But the obvious and the match that I think is probably most certain going to happen mm. is the Usos defending their titles uh, against... Uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Yeah. I know a lot of people... 
And even last night watching Raw on uh, the 30th anniversary, every week I see Sami Zayn in a segment, I'm like, I want him, I want him to be Roman. I really want to see that because that's a massive baby, uh, baby face, uh, just, you know, explosion, kind of what we saw with Daniel Bryan beating Randy Orton and, and Batista. I know a lot of people would want to see that. It's just I don't think we see that at this Mania in real life, and I don't want to see it in our WrestleMania because obviously we have Rock versus Roman, and we have a different main event for Roman in uh, night two because he is in he is main eventing both nights. You have you have both titles. You're going to main event both nights. It's it's yeah. an obligation <clears throat> of what you carry, and also it's a great way. I mean, they don't got to sell any more tickets, no. but it's it's a great way to market it. And in general, I know it might be taxing for the body, sure. Roman can do it, but um, it's just it's just it's just awesome. It's an awesome yeah. concept, and I love it. Um, yeah, you get to see all the bloodline. Obviously, Solo was involved earlier in the in the Mania. You got the Usos. You got Sami Zayn, who I mean, technically is still involved in Bloodline. I mean, dude, we don't really have to talk too much about the story. I think all this takes is a, is an easy Sami turn that could have been yep. any night over the yeah. last twenty nights. Um, most importantly, the story is the Usos finally lose their titles. Uh, they've had them for over five hundred days. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, you know, being the baby faces and them finally beating uh, Jay and Jimmy Uso would be a massive pop. And uh, yeah, I think we get new Raw Tag Team Champions at WrestleMania. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn get put over the bloodline. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like it, Jesse. <laughs> I like it. And uh, I think we're going to get this match regardless. And I think the outcome is probably pretty certain regardless yeah, as well. I, I would hope. Only other twist I can see is maybe they just go full fledged with Sammy and they they have him they have him try to take the whole cake. But I just We'll see. I love that. I would personally like I'm, yeah, so I'm would sharing I. the whole time. I just don't really see it happening. And we have other ideas, including what we would main event, night number two. And again, you can you know mix the matches and mix the nights up. Me personally, I, I wanted this night number two. Jesse wanted it night number one. Mm -hmm. We swapped it around. It really doesn't matter, but it matters for one thing that we're going to mention, and that is Roman Reigns defending his WWE Championship against okay. uh, the Royal Rumble winner. Uh, it shouldn't have gotten announced. It should be Cody Rhodes. Yeah, um, I would have much rather. If, the if, massive if, baby if, face if, pop. If it, if it was yeah. my universe, I would have been going the opposite direction, and I would have been saying, "Hey, Cody Rhodes have had has had setbacks within his rehab, within his recovery. We don't think he's gonna make it to Rumble. <clears throat> he's looking to possibly make it for Mania. Mm -hmm. Boom, just like that. It sounds realistic as a fan, as a viewer, and I'd be like, okay, well, I guess we don't expect Cody at the Rumble, and yeah. if we do, you get the pop." You get the you get that John Cena moment, maybe you know. I know that's a huge, huge pop to compare it to, but you get that return of a lifetime at Rumble to win the Rumble to then face Roman Reigns at Mania. And I'm gonna be real with you, Jesse. I don't know who you want winning. Oh, I want Cody Rhodes. I want Cody Rhodes winning, and I think this is a perfect way to end Mania because you have Bloodline. You know, look good. You had you had, everybody had their moments. Maybe Solo ends up with a briefcase along the way. Maybe Usos end up retaining. Roman already reta retained one belt, but a little chip in their armor. Yeah, a little chip in the armor. It's about time Roman just gives up one of his belts at least. Yeah, I mean he's had that WWE Championship since he won it at WrestleMania 38 against Brock. Uh, I think Cody Rhodes finally fulfills his legacy and his father's legacy. He gets that WWE championship. He came back to the WWE a year ago at WrestleMania. I think it's full full circle. He mm -hmm. debuted at WrestleMania 38, came back, beat Seth Rollins, and then he has a big main event match against Roman Reigns. Obviously, you know, the biggest superstar since John Cena, respectively. Uh, and Cody Rhodes gets his moment. He finally becomes WWE champion. And he just, he does it all. He becomes the huge babyface star. He separates that title from Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes will be on Raw. Roman Reigns will be on SmackDown. Two different world titles. Uh, you know, Roman keeps his 1,000 day reign with the Universal title. And we get to see a new star in Cody Rhodes. Now, <clears throat> how I want it to happen is how exactly how I texted you last night. You have Cody Rhodes come in the rumble i would say they're probably since they already ruined his return i think he comes back within the next 
probably, I would say the first 10 entries of the Rumble and have him have a long he might be top 15. run in the Rumble. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, he deserves to be in there and, you know, get that opportunity against Roman Reigns. Um, but during the match, I think what Roman Reigns has in store for Sami Zayn at Royal Rumble is the last thing that Roman Reigns wants Sami Zayn to do is win the Rumble match. And if Sami Zayn doesn't win the Rumble match, that's when they kick him out of Bloodline. That helps our WrestleMania because then Kevin Owens gets on the side. Why would you want Sami to win the Rumble? Because then Sami doesn't have to go against Roman Reigns for the titles and he could just lay down to Roman. Mm, okay. And that could help, obviously, the build for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn going against the Usos because Kevin Owens, you know, steps up for Sami Zayn. Obviously, they're best friends and that so forth. But I would have Solo, who obviously we almost saw Samoan spike Sami Zayn last night. Uh, they go at it during the Rumble. Uh, Sami Zayn accidentally eliminates Solo. And then let's say the last four members of the Royal Rumble are... Let's just say the last three are Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes, Who cares? Rick and Sami Zayn. Oh, yeah, it really don't matter. Cody Rhodes obviously wins. And then you have Cody Rhodes celebrating. It's the main event of Royal Rumble on Saturday. And then you see Roman Reigns, the Usos, and Solo come out. And they're beating up on Cody Rhodes because Roman Reigns is pissed that Sami Zayn just lost one. And now Roman has to go against Cody Rhodes, who Roman Reigns wanted it to be Sami so Roman could get the easy victory. You see where I'm going mm -hmm. now? Yeah. And Roman is pissed off that Cody Rhodes won instead of Sami Zayn. And then all you hear is, if you smell, Rock comes down, obviously massive pop. He's not in the Rumble match, but he helps Cody Rhodes defend off the bloodline. Obviously, it makes Cody Rhodes look like a star because he just won Royal Rumble. It helps him be the baby face. And then we get to see that moment of The Rock staring at Roman Reigns in the eyes after Rumble, after Royal Rumble, and kind of, you know, start that tease of, why the hell are you here? And I think that will, one, set up Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, Fortnite, two, uh, beautifully, and that will set up The Rock versus Roman beautifully, Fortnite, one. The final plot twist I would like to add <clears throat> to all of this is the fact that Seth Rollins wins the very, very first match of our Mania. So you can recreate any moment. You can recreate that Roman and Brock possible triple threat idea. And you can, I'm not going to say make it happen, but you can tease it. I wouldn't have him cash I, in. I, I wouldn't have him cash in, but I would have a moment where you're convinced as a viewer for a second, like, oh, crap, deja vu. Mm -hmm. Again, because we've seen Seth Rollins. And not only that, you can have him if you really wanted to in some form of capacity, cheese it both nights, yeah. which is a luxury we've never had before back-to-back yeah. -back nights. And I, personally, yeah, forever. personally, and that, that'll that be the end of the show, I would love to see Seth not cash in. I would love him to, you know, fake the attempt and, you know, get a spot maybe with the, uh, the announcer's table. He gets pulled through the announcer's table and he doesn't cash in so he doesn't lose his money in the bank briefcase. Obviously, the history is there with Cody Rhodes because they've had the three matches and uh, the last WrestleMania match when Cody Rhodes came back. And then we all know the history between him and Roman. Yeah, no, Seth Rollins no, has always been Roman Reigns. Yeah, it's, it's so perfect. Yeah, I, I yeah, think what perfect. would be dope end to that match is Cody Rhodes hits like a crossroads through the table. Seth Rollins is laid out. He has his briefcase. It's not cashed in. Cody Rhodes gets back in. He gets Superman punch, spear, kick out at literally 2.9. Cody Rhodes gets back up, fights for a few more minutes. Crossroads out of nowhere and pins Roman Reigns. And yeah. it gets the huge pop yeah. where Cody is the champion. Seth Rollins is, you know, knocked out. And we just saw Roman Reigns lose for the first time in over three years. And I feel like that mania, in reality, covers all grounds. You have the entertainment with, the, you know, if you want, just, you know, if you're looking at mania for the Hollywood stars and the big names, you got that. You got the Rock. You got the Pauls. You got the Roman. You got the Cena. I, I, I know, I know, Cody Rose isn't a big name, but you got the Cena. You got the Edge. You got the Orton. Like you check all those boxes. Ronda, the Brock Lesnar, Rondas. Yeah. And then if you want the real wrestling matches, like the wrestling purist matches, I think you're going to get that with the Walter versus Drew. Even with a Ronda versus Becky, I think mm -hmm. they're going to have a damn good match. Bianca versus Rhea. 
Um, if you're in it for the storylines, I mean, it's listen, Rob, it's, Cody, it's, 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 Sammy Zane, Rock Kevin Roman, Owens. that match, it's, it's, it's Judgment Day, I mean, I'm sorry, it's Dominic Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, mm -hmm. um, the stories are all there as well, I feel like WrestleMania is supposed to be a culmination <clears> of <throat> everything we love about wrestling and everything we love about WWE, and it's that excitement, that standing on the edge of your seat, the surprises, what might come next, mm -hmm. and I think you get that with this card, now this was 13 matches, um, we can, you know, make it 14 if you, if you do the women's tag matches. Our problem is that I feel like there's not many women's tag teams. Yeah. We, we've, we've dabbled with the idea and I don't want to go too in depth with it, but Naomi coming back as a return. Mm -hmm. And then maybe she introduces somebody that maybe it could be a member of the bloodline and you, you can get the woman involved as well. And it could be the rock's daughter. Maybe you could even incorporate that into the rock storyline. You can get fun. Mm -hmm. And they go you know, against, not, obviously, you know. And Dakota Kai. But my ideal match would have been Naomi and Sasha Banks versus uh, Dakota and EO, uh, but that's not uh, she is that's respectively happening. in New Japan Pro Wrestling. That was my like dream match I could have seen at our WrestleMania or just in real life, but uh, we're not going to get it. She's she's definitely not coming back. Yeah, but Jess, that's our mania. Um, guys, I know it was a lot. But what do you guys think of it? What would you guys do differently? Do you agree? What's your favorite match out of the ones we suggested? It's did a variety of questions. I can did we forget answer. anyone that you think uh, deserves to be on yeah, WrestleMania? Yeah, we did forget a few people. No Sheamus, no Miz, Street no Street Profits, Profits um, Riddle, no Riddle, Shinsuke. Shinsuke. Those are names that honestly hurt me. And then go ahead, just you know, throw, throw whoever you want in the Money in the Bank match if that's the case. Mm -hmm. There's going to be pre-show matches. You know, we're not going <clears> to <throat> think that too deep. But, you know, have your Andre the Giant Battle Royale and have a blast. Uh, yeah, that, 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 you, you guys would do that. It's just I always hated the Andre the Giant Battle but Royale. But let us know what you thought of our Mania card, Jesse. Well, we got some Universe Mode to record. If you guys have never seen us before, we do a Universe Mode series on the channel where we're booking pretty much every day and every show, and our Mania is coming up. So it's about to get real, real exciting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're also going to hopefully talk about Royal Rumble as well when that drops. So in general, if you guys have never seen us, welcome to the channel, and I hope you guys stay. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, ring the bells, guys, and get our new updated videos, and we'll see you on. I, I would usually say on the other side of the universe, but I'm just going to say next time. Have a good day, good evening, and good night. Peace. Yeah, yeah, I got the game all in my hand. Ooh, and yeah, pop out with the drip and make a fan drool. You could risk it if you want, this ain't no fan duel. Yeah, I'm in a band's cool. Yeah, stabbing for the breeze.